we're undeniably a nation of telly addicts. But if you don't want to pay monthly for a traditional subscription bundle, there are alternatives out there. And to test them, I've invited around a man who watches even more TV than you. It's comedian and TV reviewer Sideman, who likes nothing better than to watch all manner of trending TV and then have a good rant about it on YouTube. Jay's mum is a bit of a savage. You gave her a seventh for being sick. So, you, you must watch a lot of television. I'd say a, a good third of the day is spent keeping up with the different shows that I'm interested in. Mm, and presumably you need to get a subscription for some of those. Yeah, I've subscribed to Sky, yeah. And uh, does that cost a lot? I feel like it does, personally. Well, I've got some options uh, today which could be okay. cheaper. My first contender to show Sideman is the cheapest of the three, the 4K Roku Streaming Stick Plus. As long as you've got Wi-Fi, it should only need connecting into an available HDMI port and some power. That's really convenient. So, anyway, we've logged in. This yeah. is the basic home screen. It's more app-based than TV guide. I really like this. We're on our phone so often, it's just more familiar to me. The interface is really, like, easy to understand, and I like that. It's got a wide range of streaming apps available. Prime Video, Netflix, Now TV, Apple Plus, Disney Plus coming soon, and uh, all the major broadcasting apps as well. I like the fact that it's got Spotify on there as well. If you want live TV, there's also an app called TV Player. OK. However, the TV Player app doesn't allow you to pause live TV like a set-top box would. You can search with a voice-enabled remote, though, like the Sky Q box, but without the subscription. The circle. It works? It works. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting it to work for me. See, people, the Birmingham accent isn't that bad. But although it understood our voices, it didn't have much luck finding our choices. I yeah, don't I think it has the TV It's show. not coming up with the TV show. So, how much does this cost? The actual stick is 50 quid. I think right. that's really good. Mm. But how easy is it to access our cut price content around the house? After all, the big subscription players provide extra boxes to watch on multiple TVs for a price. Now, it doesn't support uh, streaming as such around the house, but you can easily just unplug it from one TV and plug it into another. And the same applies, obviously, in hotel rooms and holiday cottages. What do you think? That's really good because I'm moving about constantly and it would be good to be able to just take my entertainment with me, in essence. And there's another feature. If uh, you wanted to listen to Love Island, somebody else for some reason didn't. I don't know why anybody wouldn't, but yeah. You could listen remotely through the app. OK. And uh, just connect your headphones. Try it. Oh, I can hear it. Oh, great. I can't. Mm-hmm. Ah. Ooh, Birmingham architecture. Brilliant. What do you think of it overall? I just like it because it's simple, it's sleek, it's easy to carry around, it works. That's a thumbs up for the Roku. But will my mid-price device, this Humax Freeview Play recorder, get such a good reception? So there should be 70 free channels, including 15 in HD. OK, HD is important. I imagine you have to pay for adult expanded TV. <laughs> do, do you do a commentary on those? Or not? No, no commentary whatsoever. It's got a TV guide which goes seven days ahead, seven days back, and uh, hopefully a search function as well. Let's look for one of your programmes. This is a bit confusing. It's not the most clear interface. It's got five pages. Yeah. It's not actually telling me much about the programmes. Yeah, it? it's not telling you what episode is I which. I could be like, oh, you need to watch this season. Yes. And then you end up watching both seasons just because you're trying yes. to find it. Life's too short for that. Yeah. Sort of the Humax has a limited number of apps for on-demand content, plus Netflix. But other premium channels and apps like Prime and Now TV are conspicuously absent. With the limitations of the options, it would affect whether I would get this or not. On the plus side, though, it's like a conventional set-top box. You can pause live TV and record four programmes while watching a fifth. Like, certainly, I could record my news every day on this. You record the news? Because I often find I've got home at 11 o'clock and I've missed the 10 o'clock news. And it's I feel like there. you can miss it. What's it? Yeah, let, it, let the news go. Like, There'll like, be news like... tomorrow. For watching around the home, like Sky and Virgin, the Humax has an app for streaming to your tablet or phone. So, as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, you should be able to watch any recordings on the box. Jump in. <laughs> oh, jumping into bed with John Bentley is not how I saw my day. Ah, live TV yeah. and recordings as well.
two people can be watching on this app around the house. Dysfunctional families. Yeah, that's true. I don't really want to watch the same things as the people around me. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> A mixed review for the Humax then. How will my third device compare? An LG 4K smart TV. It's the most expensive in my lineup. But still less than all but the most basic annual TV subscriptions. I like the look of the interface. The LG has all the live Freeview channels plus a range of streaming services. Well, it's got all of the ones that really you'd go for straight away, the Now TV, Netflix, ITV Hub. That's, so that's basically mm. me, really. And you can do voice search on the remote, which just costs an extra 35 quid. You have to pay for the you remote. You get a remote, but you can't... Uh, it's not on that level. Yeah. Go to Netflix. The Magic Remote has built-in Google Assistant, which lets you select programs, control smart home devices, and even ask those burning questions. Who are the presenters of the gadget show? Craig Charles, what is daily and offers? I'll be in the others <laughs> category. I just, I'm very... <laughs> that is disrespectful. Find the circle. All right, a lot of search results. Uh, there we, there we are. It's got it. It's coming up with buying the circle. But on the Channel 4 app, would you get it for nothing? Yeah. So 41 yeah. whole episodes for free yeah. on the Channel 4 app, and it just ignored it. I mean, that's no use. It's not searching at all, is it? Not such a smart TV when searching, then, but it does claim to have another clever feature. Now, it's supposed to have AI that makes recommendations based on your previous viewing. I like when it, like, know me so that I don't have to know myself. Do you know what I mean? I like that. We can't record to the memory inside the TV, but we can add a USB stick and record that way. But you can't pause live TV, and with only one tuner, you can't watch another Freeview channel while recording. You'd have to go back to your streaming apps. Ah, oh, damn! I've already recorded eight out of ten Cats Does Countdown at the same time! So indeed. I'm going to go for Wives with Knives instead. So we've been talking about streaming around yes. the house, so I'm gonna just grab this USB and I'll take it to this next room. Hold on a minute. You can't. Because it'll only play back on that telly for rights reasons. So everything we watch, we have to watch it on this specific television. Yes. That's awkward. I got up and everything. Yes. That is a massive big deal for me, like I'm a mover, so not being able to watch it anywhere else and then the price of it as well, mm. it's a lot for me, it's a lot. Yeah, so you have to get used to carrying a TV around the house. I don't really even go gym. Do you not go to the gym? Occasionally, but not enough for me to be picking up TVs for banter. Further reason why you're such a good chap. <laughs> So, which of my three subscription box substitutes will Sideman choose? Clear winner for me is the Roku. It's small, it's mobile, I can impress friends. Like, what are we going to watch? I know, I have a Roku. Plug it in. I like yeah. that. Mm. Mm. So, John, what's the verdict? Well, there's no doubt Sky and Virgin Boxes offer a very slick way to watch live TV, record it and do some streaming, all with a very easy-to-use interface. But doing the item highlighted again for me how many ways there are now to watch TV. And you didn't even talk about tablets, laptops, games consoles. Absolutely. So I think probably the bottom line is it's well worth having a think about what you want from your TV service and whether there's a better or cheaper way of getting it than you do at the moment. Well, thank you very much, John. <laughs>